Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a pretty good size Hobby Lobby clearance haul for you all. It's not totally massive, but I got a lot of good stuff. Also, uh, with it, I'm going to show you what I found at the Peddler's Malls, the um, discount store that we went to. So I am just going to go ahead and get into it. I will show you the, this is from Goodwill. Got a couple of things from Goodwill. Oh, as I push the button, I saw this. I had to get it for my son because he loves Star Wars and it does still, it, they like still work. But yeah, uh, I had to go ahead and get that. And they say over there that their books are 99 cents, but because this had, yeah, the battery's going dead. I'm probably going to have to change the battery on it. So it, it is, I mean, thankfully it is changeable, but they had this as $1.99 and I even asked him about it. I'm like, you know, your books say they're 99 cents. He goes, well, because it's an, ele it's an electric book, it's not. It's $1.99, and I'm like, yeah, okay, but it's still a book, so it should have been $0.99, cents. but whatever. That's the way they want to play it. You know, there's not much you can do. Okay, I got this. This my daughter picked out. It is just a shirt. She did try it on. Uh, she liked it. This is her aesthetic. And if things are falling off of my table, just ignore that. Uh, but, so she got this. This was $6 for this shirt. $6. Goodwill has gotten very expensive. Very expensive. And, yeah. I don't want to shop there hardly ever. I mean, I go in there. I look for anything that might be on sale. And then I leave. Because... If there's nothing, you know, the price has to be good. And I have to know that it's a good price. Okay. Uh, that is Hobby Lobby. That is Hobby Lobby. I'm going to go ahead and start on the Hobby Lobby because I am apparently missing some bags. This seems to be a thing with me. I miss bags. I don't know where they are. Okay, so I found this on the back wall. My oldest loves Yu-Gi-Oh. So I grabbed this. It was $5.99. Um, you know that usually the Funko Pops can be a bit higher. So I went ahead and grabbed it. I saw this. They had a couple of puzzles that were on clearance. These are $374. And the normal price is covered up, of course. Let's see if I can pull it off. Now this says $15.99. But the sticker under here says $14.99. So I don't know if that $14.99 was just that they put it on sale, take a dollar off or what. But yeah, I got it for very cheap. And that was the only puzzle that I was even interested in. They did have a Garfield one, but I didn't get it. Okay, they had this fabric on clearance. And it came in two pieces. Because it was, and I don't know, oh, okay, now you can. So right here, you see it's polka dot. When you look at it, it doesn't look like it does, but it has little polka dots on it. Now these are going to the Homemakers Club for the baby blankets that we make. Um, cause I thought, I don't know, it was on clearance. The, the stuff was on clearance. And I thought that it was a very subtle polka dot. <sighs> Stuff's falling, sorry. It's a very subtle polka dot, so I thought it was just super cute. So I grabbed that one. Oop. As I bump you all, I found this. I was super excited. Uh, this is a spool thread box. 
and it was only $5.49. Normal price was $9.99. So even the normal price isn't that bad. But I got it on clearance. They are, as far as I know, they're doing away with these. Like they're not going to have them in store anymore. So I just wanted, wanted to go ahead and grab this one while I could. Uh, next, I'm going to show you this first and then I'm going to take this stuff out of it. So this was or is a sewing box. It is, it's got the little thing here. And then on the inside, it's got this little tray. I have it out because I have this full of more clearance stuff. So when you open it, it's got that tray. Let me, I gotta move this a little bit, but you've got like a little pin cushion or something here. You've got a little pockets here and then you've got the inside of it. Uh, the tray goes right here and then you've got below it. So I'm going to pull all this stuff out as I go through. I saw these in the ribbon section. These no, these were at the back. These were at the back wall. They had these in the back wall clearance section because that's where my store keeps the clearances on the back wall. However, if you walk around in the store, you can also find clearance. So don't just think that the clearance is only at the back wall. It is all throughout the store. These are normally normally $5.99. I got them for $1.49. So they are the faux leather. I got these two for a dollar 24 and they are the shiny faux leather normal price is 4.99 and then i got this one for a dollar 74 normal price 6.99 and it's got the little design so i grabbed those i also grabbed they have this one section in their fabric section that they have some pieces like the end of a roll or a piece that somebody had cut but then decided they didn't want it. Um, this normally is $11.99 a yard, but I got it for $2.39. It is only a third of a yard, but I'm okay with that. So I got that one. Then I was walking through their craft aisles and I saw paint with the little reduced stickers. So I grabbed all of them. You have Orchid Wisp here and there are three of those you've got let's see these two uh it's called blue echo and you can see i only paid 29 cents for these i've got one green whisper which is really pretty i've got two of the Mango Mamba, Mambo. I've got two of the, I don't know, Peach. Pe it looks like Peach Breeze. Then two of the Summer Peach. So pretty close, but a little bit lighter. And then three of the roasted pecan. And that is it for the paint. The next, I don't know where to set this without it getting in the way. The next thing I got, I did grab another one of these. They had one more of this left and it was normal, normally, and actually, no, normally, they had it, if I can get this sticker off. No, okay, they had it, yeah, normally $7.99. They had it on clearance for $3.99, and they had it in a section. That's how I found the sewing box. The sewing box I got see I didn't show you the tag 
So regular price was $29.99. I got it for $7.49. I could not believe it. It was in the same section as this. And it did not have a clearance sticker on it. But I brought it up front and asked. And they said, oh, that's only $7.49. Because <clears throat> she called somebody. because She didn't know. So she called somebody. And asked if it was on clearance. And so he, uh, she gave him the skew, And he looked it up. And he's like, well, it's not popping up. So, yeah, it's probably on clearance. And she was like, okay, normal price is $29.99. And he was like, okay, it's $7.49. And I'm like, oh, my God, I'm taking it. I'm taking it. So she wrote it on the tag so that they wouldn't forget. But I also got one of these. And then I got another thing somewhere. Where did it go? I know I had... Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was about to say, I know I had it over here. I got two of these. And they were $3.24. The normal price was $5.99. So, yeah. So, I got these for $3.24. I already have some stuff in the other one. So, I can't show you the other one. But, yeah. I grabbed two of these. And then one more of the big one. Which I already had one of the big ones. But, I grabbed another one. Um, so that's it for the clearance from Hobby Lobby. Uh, a few more things that I got from the Goodwill. This was 99 cents. They show like there's a, a half price books where it was $5.99. Then they had it clearance at half price books for a dollar. And apparently it's somebody picked it up and then brought it to Goodwill for, and they sold it for 99 cents. Obviously, very obviously, I got it because it's Halloween. So, I was very excited to grab that. Then, I've got this book. It is His Dark Materials. It's the Golden Compass uh, series. Uh, which they had a movie with this. They also have a, or had a uh, TV series. So this, thankfully, was only 99 cents, so I grabbed it because, yes, I found this puzzle for 99 cents. Might help if I turn it up right. It is a thousand piece. I hope they are all there, but I really liked the luggage and stuff, so I'm going to put this together, glue it, and put it in my reading nook, probably. So I got that. My daughter... <laughs> found this she absolutely loves collecting older things so she loves cameras she loves um just anything like anything older she likes so she found this and of course you know it needs small tapes I don't know where we're gonna find small tapes but yeah she decided to get this and it was only a dollar 99 so I let her grab it I found, oh my gosh, I was so excited. Now, I'm hoping that they'll, the rest of them will still be there and that maybe he will have put the price down on the other ones. It's Stargate. I love Stargate. I love Stargate. I love the movie. I love the, the I'm more into the TV show than the movie. Um, but there's the Stargate SG-1, there's Stargate Atlantis, there's Stargate, uh, what is that other one? The other one wasn't as popular, so it didn't last very long. Um, I think Stargate Universe is what it was. But they're Stargate cards, and they were, these three packs were 69 cents. They had another pack that was 99 cents, and then all the rest of them were a dollar something. And I was like, okay, but but he has some marked 69 cents. Why can't? And she's like, we can't change it. Cause this was at the peddler's mall. We can't change it because, um, we have to go by what the sticker says because it's, you know, the, the vendors aren't there, just their stuff is. So whatever they have it marked, that's what they have to go by. But I got three packs and I'm hoping that when we go back, I can grab some more and maybe if, you know, maybe he'll have put them down. Who knows? All right. I grabbed this because I absolutely love the case. 
It was $3.99, a little bit more pricey than I like to spend there, but I had to have it. I only wanted it for the case. My daughter, while we were waiting, because there was somebody in front of us, that had like a ton of stuff. So while we were waiting, my daughter looked this up to see what it was. It is a shoe polishing kit. And they still had some of the stuff in here. You've got your uh, polishes. You've got black. You've got brown. You've got neutral. And I'm going to open them up. And it's in great condition. I mean, it really is. I'm going to try to open it up. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, let's try a different one. No. Oh, ouch. Okay. Okay, that one's not doing it either. Let's try this one. I may have to like... Oh my gosh. I may have to jimmy this open with something. I would have thought that this, this would... Oh, that does push it up. Okay. <sighs> All right. So that... Look at this. this. These are brand new. Never been used on that one. We'll see about the other ones. Let me put that back. I have never, like, I've never seen a shoe polishing kit like this before. And I saw it in the, uh, so you turn it. Okay, so that one's been used, but not a lot. But I... I saw this in the container. Oh, this one's new too. Look at that. Brand new. I saw it in the case. They had it in, which was weird, but they had, so I thought it was going to be like expensive because where they had it in the, the case at the desk. Um, I'm wondering if it was just in there because of the fact that it's got stuff in it that belongs with it. So you've got those. You've got a shoehorn here. The brush is missing. So that did not come with it. This, I think, is supposed to go up here. So the brush wasn't with it. It was the only thing missing. This, brand new, still sealed. This one is... So you have the sponges in here. So I'm not going to touch that because I bet it's got the black wax on it. Uh, but yeah. I absolutely love this. So they had it in the front case. I thought it was going to be expensive, but it wasn't. It was only, I mean, it was $3.99. But to have this is just, oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. So I had to grab it. And then I know I'm missing a bag. Let me go see if it's in my daughter's room because I it has her camera in it that she got. And I want to show you guys the camera because it is gorgeous. Isn't, oh, I mean... Okay, I shouldn't say gorgeous because it's not it's 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 neat. It's kind of like you know, it's like this. It's something neat that we've never seen before. Um, it's an older camera, and I bump bump the camera. So let me go grab that. Okay, so this is the camera, and it was nine dollars or eight ninety six, whatever. Um, and see, it shows you the booth and what they categorize it as, but there's your flash. This is like, I mean, I wouldn't even know how to work this honestly, but for her, it's more about collecting it. Now this, I don't remember how to. I don't remember how to do it. She did it the last time. Let's see. Oh, it just pops out. Okay, there we go. Just pops out. Look how neat that is, though. It's like, oh my gosh, that is so cute. And then you push it one way and push it the other to put it down. I don't know. She figured it out. I did not figure it out. Um, she'll put it back. <laughs> but is that not the neatest little camera? I mean, it's old, obviously. But yeah, so she's been collecting a lot of cameras. 
lately, and uh, we had she as soon as she saw this, we had to grab it. We we just had to. So, but that is it. That is it for this haul. Uh, like I said, you know, I've been doing a lot of clearance shopping. Um, anymore, that's pretty much all you can afford is going to clearance shopping. So anytime I can find a really good deal, that's what I do. Um, but yeah. So if you guys like this kind of content, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.